Hi there, I'm Dan Whittaker. I'm here today to talk to you about simplifying the D-plane. Now, there's been a lot of in-depth videos discussing the D-plane, and I think that they've got some great information in them, but I think it's quite difficult for some people to fully understand and to comprehend exactly what, what it is that we are trying to do when it comes to the D-plane. So, simply put, the D-plane is how to angle your swing and your stance based off your angle of attack okay okay so where your angle of attack is coming from so the more down you hit or the more up you hit this will then dictate where your swing arc will move to okay so i've got this uh, golf club here with the stick coming straight out the center of the face here so if i have a golf club that comes through and i hit the golf ball with zero downward angle of attack so i'm hitting it on any hitting device at zero so it's coming along the floor dead level then that stick will be pointed dead straight so you can see there with the board above me that we can see there at the bottom that's pointing dead straight so that would just be a straight shot so that means that my stance can aim very very straight when i want to hit just one that is got no downward angle of attack okay now if i want to hit down on one okay like a short iron okay or any mid iron for that matter okay i would be hitting more downwards here so the more down i hit on the golf ball the more right the stick is pointing okay so the more right it is pointing then what i have got to do from here is i've got to angle my swing to the left to make that ball go straight so it's why with a short iron we'd aim to the left and you would also see on any hitting device like a track man the swing direction would be more left okay that will mean that the ball can be hit straight and pure so the more down we hit the more left we go with the swing after impact but most important of all is the more open we'll be with our stance so it's like that's why with a short iron if you're hitting down on it say as much as four and a half five degrees coming five degrees in here that club face is definitely pointing to the right there so i have to open my body to mean that ball can now go straight now the optimum for a driver to get the best out of it is to hit up on the golf ball now a lot of pga tour players actually hit down on their driver but we'll get back to that in just a moment but the most efficient way to or to maximize your distance is to hit up on the golf ball so if i was coming through so there's zero and I'm hitting up on the golf ball, see that that rod is now pointing to the left. So if I'm as much as three or four degrees up, what I now need to do, so I'd be upwards here, I now need to angle my body to the right for the ball to go, to, to go straight. So the, the key is it's how much is coming down will vary the amount of how far left or how far right my stance is pointing. Now we go back to Ben Hogan all those years ago in the five fundamentals, modern fundamentals of golf. He did a diagonal stance that said, open with the short irons, progressively to being closed with the woods. So this was something he'd figured out himself, but that was essentially modern D-plane. So that was, because the, the more down we hit, the more left we swing, the more up we hit, the more right we swing. But you get a player like Sergio Garcia, and we know that Sergio, from his numbers on Trapman, hits down on the driver, then what he's going to have to do is to swing, is to aim a bit more left and swing a little bit more left, okay? Because if he's hitting down a lot, okay, so their face is going to be a little bit open, and he's aiming to the right, he's going to hit pushes or have to really work very hard to square it and start hitting what we'd call deep plane hooks. So he... When you are hitting more down, you've got to hit more left. So even with a driver, when the tall, a lot of tall players are hitting down, you'll see quite a lot of them will be a little fraction open with their stance. Not every single one of them, but a player like Sergio most certainly will be, okay? And like I say, that is because when the club is coming down, the center of the face is aiming to the right, okay? When we're hitting up, the center of the face is pointing to the left so what we would just need to do is dictate find out what your angle of attack is with 
your longest club through to your mid, and then you can start to vary your stance according to your game. I personally like to stand open with most of my clubs. I encourage a lot of my students to get a little bit open with most of the clubs. I think it gives you a little bit more space to get through the golf ball as well. But if I've got someone hitting very much up on the golf ball, I will close that stance down. I personally like to stand a little bit open with everything, and I do hit quite down on most of my shots. So I would recommend that if you tend to hit down on it a lot, spend with op opening a little bit. You'll see how the decline can work for you. So obviously it's a very scientific model, but it's a very simplified way to look at it. So the more down you hit because of where the center of the face is pointing, the more inside the club will come, but the more to the right the face will point. Therefore, the more to the left we angle our swing and our stance. The more up we hit, the more closed the face will be. So therefore, the more right we'll angle our swing to counter it, you know, balance that effect. Really hope you've enjoyed this video on the uh, D-plane. If you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. You'll see below, I've got my Twitter, Facebook links. You know, subscribe, like those pages, follow me. I'd love to interact with you on uh, all my social media. I offer online lessons and I'm also available for in-person lessons at Alt Tringham Driving Range where I'm based at in Cheshire. Please come along, visit me, come and work with me. I'd love to help you with your game. Thanks a lot for watching and I very much look forward to speaking with you again very soon.